Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to Manifested Online Classes. I'm, my name is Moniki. Before we start our today's lesson, I want us to review the previous lesson where I defined Boy's Law and did a simple illustration of Boyle's Law. I said that Boyle's Law states that the volume of a given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at constant temperature. The volume of a given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to pressure at constant temperature. That is what we said. The example we gave was using a piston or using this illustration. So I said that this is this is just a tube. This is the piston. And remember in form one, we say there are three states of matter, which is a solid, liquid, and a gas. And again we said that matter is anything which has mass and occupies space. So this space has matter and we have the particles of air inside. So demonstrating oil slow using this uh, simple uh, demonstration, then I said that if you press the piston, the volume, the volume will decrease. The volume decreases. And at the same time, the pressure increases because the particles they are now closer to one another and hence they collide more effectively or more is more effectively within themselves and with the walls of the container. And that collision is what is creating pressure. That is a simple demonstration. I give you in the previous lesson. And I say that you can present this boil slow in a cuff or using a cuff or a cuff to demonstrate boil slow. I drew a curve like this. I told you that this is a graph of pressure against volume. So graph of pressure against volume say that any time they are inversely proportional, that when pressure increases, volume decreases. And when volume decreases, when volume decreases, pressure increases. Therefore, the curve was like this. And one thing I want you to note is that the curve does not touch both the x and the y axis and the reason is that the volume cannot be zero and the pressure cannot be zero again and that's why the axis or this curve is not touching the y axis and the x axis because the volume cannot be zero and the pressure again cannot be zero if you have a volume then there is pressure involved in that volume. So basically that is what we discussed in the previous lesson. In this lesson, I want to show you the mathematical expression of Boyle's law. The mathematical expression of Boyle's law. In Boyle's law we said that volume Volume is inversely proportional to 
to pressure so this is when volume increases pressure decreases and when pressure increases volume decreases therefore volume see is inversely proportional to pressure this is a simple of proportionality that volume is inverse inversely proportional to pressure this is just one over pressure which can also be written as v standing for volume is inversely proportional to to pressure so v inversely proportional to pressure and this one can also be written as v is equals to a constant 1 over 1 over p v is equals to a constant over 1 k 1 over p this one can now be expressed as v p is equals to a constant so if you multiply v and p then you will get this constant so v p is equals to constant k therefore if you have a certain amount of a gas a certain volume of a gas if this volume of a gas is having some pressure because these particles of a gas are in continuous state of motion so they are colliding with one another and also with the walls of the container or the vessel where this gas is remember again you have seen that the volume cannot be zero and the pressure again cannot be zero in this gra graphical representation therefore if you have a certain volume of a gas this volume of a gas is having a pressure so if that volume changes let's say you have volume you have v volume one of a certain gas and pressure and pressure one if the volume changes to pressure sorry if the volume changes to v2 If volume changes to V2, the pressure also changes to P2. Because anytime you interfere with the volume, pressure is also interfered with. If you raise the volume, pressure, if you raise the volume, pressure decreases. I hope you get that. If you lower the volume, pressure rises or increases. Get that very clearly. So this means that all this one can be expressed as V1, V1, P1 is equals to P2. Sorry. It's equals to V2, P which is equals to, to k, k which is a constant. Therefore, v1, p1 is equals to v2, p2. And that is the expression we use in Boyle's law. And this expression just means that v1 or where v1 is equals to the initial volume v1 is the initial volume just before the change v2 is the final volume
P1, the initial volume, P2, the final, final pressure. So this is supposed to be initial pressure. Initial pressure. So V1 is the initial volume before it did a change. V2 is now that final volume. P1 is the initial pressure. And P2 is the final pressure after the change. Therefore, this is the expression we will be using in all our cal calculations. In all our calculations, we'll use V1, P1, which is equal to V2, P2, where V1 is the initial volume, V2 is the final volume, P1 is the initial pressure, and P2 is the final pressure. So that is the expression. So basically that is how you are coming up with this expression and that is our lesson but just before the end of the lesson i would like to remind you i'll do a small recap on what we have learned we have learned that Boyle's law states that the volume of a given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to pressure at constant temperature and today we are doing the mathematical expression of Boyle's law. So you have seen that volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So this volume V is inversely, this is, I've seen it's a symbol of proportionality, inversely proportional to pressure, which can also be written as V is equal to a constant 1 over 1 over P. So if you multiply this P and V, you now get VP, which is equal to this constant. And that's why you're getting this expression. And again, I've said that if you have a certain mass of a gas, if you have a certain mass of a gas with a certain volume, because a certain mass of a gas will have a certain volume. If you change the volume of that gas, you either raise it or you lower it, the pressure will also change. And that's why I've said that if you have volume V1 at pressure P1, if the volume changes to V2, the pressure also changes to P2. Because anytime you raise or lower the volume, the pressure will also rise or go down at the same time. And that is now where we have come up with this expression that V1 P1 is equal to V2 P2 which is equal to a constant. And therefore we have said that V1 P1 is equal to V2 P2 where V1 is the initial volume, V2 is the final volume, P1 is the initial pressure, and P2, and P2 is the final pressure. Get that very clearly. That is the end of our lesson. But before I end, I will give you this assignment. Assignment. Assignment is derive a Boyle's law formula. Derive a Boyle's law formula. We have looked at how you are able to derive the Boyle's law formula. I believe you'll be able to derive the boils flow.
that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for being attentive. Bye. Meet in the next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.